begin our battleground budget coverage with Ontario reaction to what the federal finance minister had to say today. For that, let's connect with reporter Rebecca Thompson in Toronto. So, Rebecca, how are things playing in Ontario? Well, we did hear from the Minister of Finance just following the announcement of the budget. Now, Ontario, just to give you some context, is facing a $12 billion deficit. They were looking very much to today's federal budget to find out what kind of infrastructure and training funding, as well as manufacturing funding, they could get out of the budget. Now, I'll start with some general analysis, and then I'll read a little bit between the lines, Daniel. Uh, generally, they were pleased with how much infrastructure funding uh, it has been promised in this budget. It's a continuation, uh, pretty much a continuation continuation of previous infrastructure funding program, uh, which is good news, the, uh, the, although the only concern is that Ontario has so many priorities when it comes to infrastructure, they're really going to have to narrow it down to fit into this new infrastructure program. Now, Ontario needed a boost when it came to manufacturing, and generally they got, uh, they got a boost from the federal government, uh, $200 million for a new advanced manufacturing fund, as well as extending tax relief for the manufacturing sector in Ontario, as well as $25 million dollars to advance the building of the uh, bridge between Ontario and uh, Michigan. In addition to that, up north, the Ring of Fire, which is a big natural resources for uh, resource, re, natural resources region for Ontario. The feds are putting some money into that. But let me get down to uh, addressing labor shortages. Now, the federal government introduced a new jobs grant fund. This is brand new. It'll be funded a third by the federal government, a third by the Ontario government, as well as a third by the company. But it really puts the the control and the reins into the into companies who will ultimately decide how to uh, how to apply that skilled training and what kind of training uh, is needed now provinces have jurisdiction over training uh, and uh, the the big question here is whether or not the federal government is taking control away from the provinces and giving it to uh, companies now Ontario Finance Minister Charles Sousa had something to say about this suggests that the federal government thinks it's better to place their design programs that meet the needs of Ontario workers. We believe Ontario has the best understanding of the labour market requirements of this province and, has, and is in the best place to meet those conditions. So what you see here is, is, and I'm reading between the lines here, is that the federal government is taking reins over uh, boosting skilled training in Ontario. They want Ontario to bounce back. Ontario used to be an economic leader in Canada. Its manufacturing sector used to be a leader in Canada. Ontario is now suffering. It's collecting federal transfer payments from the federal government. It's $12 billion in debt. Uh, some say there's out-of-control spending in Ontario. It looks like what's happening here is the federal government really is putting down its foot and saying, look, like we want to control uh, training in this province and get the province back on track. All right, Rebecca Thompson in Toronto, thank you. Thank you.